Our host during this visit to the Holy Land is Madame Ruhia Rabani, the former Mary Maxwell, who was born and raised in Montreal. For many years, she has lived in the Holy Land and has played a leading role in the international growth and development of the Baha'i community. Madame Rabani now takes us on a pilgrimage to those places associated with Baha'u'llah's life in the Holy Land. In 1868, Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i faith, arrived at Akka in Palestine on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea. Akka was a heavily protected fortress city where Turkish troops were garrisoned. It was also the worst penal colony in the Turkish Empire. Baha'u'llah was a prisoner of the Sultan of Turkey. Across the Bay of Akka lies Mount Carmel with Haifa at its foot. In those days, people walked or came on horseback from one town to the other along the beach as there was no other road. In the port of Haifa, Baha'u'llah, his family, and some of his followers, about 70 men, women, and children, disembarked from a steamer which had brought them from Turkey and were then taken across the bay in a sailing boat to Akka. Already Baha'u'llah had suffered 16 years of imprisonment and exile, first in Persia, his native land, then in Iraq and Turkey. For the remaining 24 years of his life, he would be the prisoner of Akka. His sole crime was the extremely liberal, tolerant, and progressive message he taught. For this he was tortured, put in chains, condemned to death, imprisoned, and exiled at the instigation of a fanatical Muslim clergy whose vengeance pursued him for 40 years. In the terrible heat of August, Baha'u'llah disembarked at this sea gate and entered what he described as the most desolate city in the world with a detestable climate and foul water. He was led by his guards through its narrow, stinking lanes. The object of the curiosity and mockery of its inhabitants Finally, he arrived at the army barracks and entered this prison. For two years and two months, he and his companions were strictly confined in this inner citadel. Pilgrims who sometimes walked four months from Persia would stand beyond the moats, hoping to glimpse their Lord in the dark windows of the prison. Baha'u'llah suffered more behind those bars than any other time in his life. Almost all the 70 people fell ill with malaria or dysentery. Three died. But the crowning blow for him and his saintly wife, Nawab, the faithful companion of all his exiles, the mother of his most distinguished children, was the death of their 22-year-old son, Mehdi. The weary years went by. Nine bleak and stormy winters Baha'u'llah spent as a prisoner in Akka. After the first two terrible years of confinement in the barracks, he and his followers were moved to other buildings. Finally, Baha'u'llah and his family came to live in this house. Gradually, the power of his personality and the beauty of his character won the admiration and friendship of the officials. Although this house is now visited as one building, originally it was two separate houses. Both are now known as the House of Abu. 